I guess it's prepping me for the kids in the future. <laughs> oh yeah, we're talking future plans, TikTok dances, and much more with Derek Huff. And we've got the stories that define the week on People in 10. I'm Andrea Belke, bringing you everything you need to know about pop culture right now. We've got 10 minutes, so let's dive right in with the first five. Starting with Prince William and Kate Middleton's mini tour of Scotland. Kate reunited with William on Monday in Scotland and they visited a leading social care charity. Where Kate's fashion gave royal fans major flashbacks. Kate's monochrome blue ensemble was very similar to one Princess Diana wore in 1992. The couple also got their DJ on. Kate attempted some sound mixing, but it wasn't great. William even said, please turn that off, it's hurting my ears. On Tuesday, they headed to the island of Orkney to stay overnight, then St. Andrews, where they met nearly 20 years ago. They kicked off their visit with a land yachting race. William beat Kate by just a little bit, but at one point he got caught up in some sand and Kate yelled out, come on, granddad. And of course, they had to visit their alma mater. It's been a real treat for them to be back where they fell in love. And for Wednesday's grand finale, a drive-in movie night in Edinburgh, where they watched Cruella. And in this week's People cover story, Prince Harry is being praised for speaking out about how his mental health struggles were dismissed. Royal historian Robert Lacey says that while this is another blow for the royal family, the world is a better place for what Harry has done. Bachelor Nation's Ryan and Trista Sutter finally got some answers about Ryan's mysterious health problems over the last year. After months of blood tests and CT scans, they had considered a ton of different possibilities. They thought it may be an autoimmune disorder. They thought maybe it was cancer or lupus. I tested positive for Lyme disease. I now essentially have Lyme disease. It seems like that's something that I will always have. Ryan opened up on his wife Trista's podcast, Better, etc., and explained that his immune system was weakened by exposures to toxins, particularly mold, in his work as a firefighter. This caused a number of severe symptoms, including almost paralyzing fatigue. Ryan's weakened immune system meant it was more difficult for him to fight off new infections and prevent old ones from resurfacing. So along with Lyme disease, he also tested positive for COVID-19 and Epstein-Barr virus, which is what causes mononucleosis. But now, the father of two is focused on getting better. Brian changed his eating habits and has already seen an improvement. He truly believes that he's on the right path and that things are looking up. Now onto the posts you've been loving this week. Selena Gomez is turning back the clock with her latest Instagram. Little Selena is totally vibing to Britney Spears' Don't Go Knockin' On My Door from 2000. As Selena put it in her caption, the hustle was real. And Elliot Page radiated summer joy this week. He posted this photo showing off his first swim trunks and his abs by a pool. He included the hashtags transjoy and trans is beautiful. It's Elliot's first shirtless post since having top surgery to remove breast tissue. And Reed Drummond is making strides with her weight loss goals. I look better but I feel so much better, and that's what really counts. The Pioneer Woman shared the secret to her 38-pound weight loss on TikTok, and there are no gimmicks here. She says she cut calories, exercised more, and lifted lots of weights. But the Food Network star says she still loves her fries, and honestly, who doesn't? In this week's People, we've got a double dose of Emma's. I got to just be so bad. Oh, I was thrilled. It's one of my favorite parts of the movie. Uh, Emma throws a chair at someone and the woman's like, ah, and she goes, you're in the way. <laughs> and it's amazing. Emma Stone and Emma Thompson are dishing on their new movie. What was your name? Cruella. And they agree, it's really fun to play a villain. I loved it. I felt, I feel I've grown into it. I feel I'm growing towards monstrosity year by year. I'm just getting more and more difficult and um, unpleasant. Um, <clears throat> I no acting required, really. None. None. I was kind of jealous of, of Ems because she is just kind of like monstrous yeah. from the beginning. Well, Memorial Day weekend is here, AKA the unofficial start of summer. So we're getting ready to break out our hottest summer fashion. From swimwear to floral dresses and even vibrantly colored blazers and suits, there are so many looks for every style and every budget this season. It's all brought to you by Old Navy. One of our top summer must-haves is the perfect bathing suit. One that makes you not only look good, but feel good too. You can try a pastel bikini like 
Billy Baldwin, a neon suit like Simone Biles, or let your edgy side shine in metallics like Lizzo and the Kardashian sisters. Another hot weather staple is a fun floral dress, one you can wear for any occasion. We're inspired by Mindy Kaling's casual chic pink maxi and this yellow long sleeved number worn by Nicole Richie to an outdoor event. And Busy Phillips loves a floral frock in every color. For a more polished look, you can pair a long floral dress with a blazer like Gabrielle Union. And to get the most bang for your buck, rewear that blazer with jeans like Jessica Alba, Camila Cabello, and Jennifer Hudson. Can you tell which of those trends is my favorite? Always love a floral dress. Now, let's move on to some screen time. I am thrilled to be joined now by Derek Cuff. He's starring in the new season of High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, which streams on Disney+. Plus. Good luck with your show. I heard High School Musical was adorable. Derek, thank you so much for joining us. For these final five minutes of the show, I'm gonna ask you five questions. For question number one, you have to give me one answer. For question number two, you have to give me two answers, and so on. Let's get started. You are joining High School Musical in its second season, and it follows the kids at East High putting on the musical Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. So we know there's gonna be a lot of great music every episode. It got me thinking, what is one go-to song right now that you love to play when and you're in the mood to dance or you need a pick-me-up. Since we're on the Disney theme, Into the Unknown from Frozen 2. Into the Unknown! The uh, Panic of the Disco version. Yeah. Yo, that song hits, man. It's such an epic tune. It gets me going, man. I love that song. It was announced earlier this year that you are back as a judge for season 30 of Dancing with the Stars. Great start for the show, shot right out of a cannon. This will be your second season as a judge. I wanna know what are two things you love about getting to judge this show? Just rooting everybody on, you know, and helping them in any way I can, you know, in my small 20 seconds of talking. <laughs> a setback sets you up for a comeback. And getting dressed up. Beautiful. And just the, the atmosphere and the lights and the dancing, the music, and it's a blast. I'm really curious to see what season 30 is gonna bring. It's time for the judges first. Gotta ask, what is it like working with Tyra Banks? She's wonderful. I mean, it's so fun. Her fashion game's on point, as always. It's always fun to see what she walks down on. I'm always like, all right, what do we got today? Here we go. <laughs> You and your girlfriend Haley are so cute. It's really clear from your Instagram videos that you love making each other laugh. <laughs> now I know you're both very busy, but when you finally get a night off, what are your three musts for the perfect date night with Haley? We love watching movies, you know, and just hanging out with all the animals and just really casual walks. We love going on walks, like in like a beautiful garden or something or somewhere. Or we'll go for a bike ride, you know? We, we have these like electric bikes and we go for bike rides and just enjoying being outside. And nothing like, nothing crazy fancy. Just really cooking some food together, watching a show. And it's just, just chill, just chill. You mentioned all the animals. How many animals do you have? Four. And okay. it's a full-time job. <laughs> it's just like a constant like, no, 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 don't do that. But it's worth it. It's worth, the love is worth it, man. I guess it's prepping me for the kids in the future. <laughs> okay, well you said it. So is that something you're planning for? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I definitely would love a family. Definitely want kids, for sure. I do have dreams about my kids. And I wake up and I'm like, oh, I think I met my daughter. I wake up and I'm like, wow. Well, Derek, I can't get enough of your amazing dance videos that you post on social media. Wow, you can really dance. But they are so creative and hilarious. So what are your top four tips for making the perfect dance video? The biggest advice would be just do it. Don't overthink it. You know what I mean? Just pick it up, do it. That's the thing, I don't really plan anything. If you want to create a high quality where you're actually working on the craft, the choreography, I think my biggest advice would be set a date when you want to create something. Moving, just to start moves. Start where you stand and just start moving. Emotion equals emotion. The way you move directly affects the way you feel. So, you know, if you're like slouched over and hanging out, you know, you're probably not gonna feel like energized to go do something. And uh, just do what you like. Don't try to like, like keep up with something. Just do what you enjoy. And who's the best person to dance with? How do you choose the best dance partner? Haley. She's my best dance partner. Why is that? Um, because she's standing looking at me right now. Is she really? Yeah, babe. 
I love you. You're my best. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my mom. I'll say my mom is my best dance partner. Okay, you think they could be a tie. And finally, what are five words to describe this season of High School Musical? Music. And dance. They have their own dance studio. Drama. Hello, Wildcat. I'm a little scared right now. Love. You're going to make this long distance thing look easy. I'm gonna FaceTime you every morning. And discovery. Guys, we're East High. But we got this. And that's the thing about high school, right? It's a place where you are discovering who you are, what your passions are, what your love is, and who you are and your place in the world. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone watching, make sure you check them out in High School Musical, the musical, the series, streaming now on Disney+. All right, time's up. See you next Thursday.